It's 935 KD Morning Show, CC and Romeo. Yes. And, uh, you know, when we speak of legends, you know, you can't use that word loosely. No, you can't. It you has can't. to have an impact. And right now, we got an exclusive sit down with my man, Busy Bone in the building. Man. Woo, what up, give bro? Give it up, Busy Bone in the yo, building. Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Man, you good. Been good for a long time, dog. I mean, this journey has been very special for you and the entire group of Bone Thugs and Harmony. And now you're working on new music, doing your thing. Let's talk about that first, because you came in with some new heat for us, right, Busy? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely came in with some new heat. I've been on a rampage since I pulled out the musket and went viral on accident. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't even mean to do it. It, was just, it just happened. But, um, yeah, I've been I've been rocking, you know. Um, it's been like a, a good breath of fresh air. My new family and my new son being born. Like a, Congratulations. Yeah, yes. Yeah, second lease on life. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, and, of course, you say you in Ace Town a lot, man, which I love that city so much. Um, and yeah, hot. Yeah, it's hot. Hot, hot as hell. and humid over but, there. Okay? But it's hot on the West Coast right now yes. too. It's a little drier though. I can. I'm mostly a West Coast dude, you know, since yeah. Easy E and all that. Yeah, definitely though, for sure. Speaking of Easy, let's go back to it because you know I know y'all from Cleveland originally, man. But y'all are a West Coast group to us. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? When Easy had y'all put y'all name on that dotted line, that said a lot. What was that moment like? It was a lot of misses, but we were so young that. We had it was we had so much we were so vig vigorous in in our our plight and and it was just like a blessing you know it, it just felt like something directly from God is the only way that I can really explain explain what it felt like to to meet him and him just pick us up and because we ain't had no food we ain't had no clothes we ain't had no parental guidance we was all damn darn near under eighteen years old. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it was just like a blessing from God. Like you know, God just blessed us and touched us. How did you guys link up though? Like how? Like who? Did somebody introduce you, or was it at a concert? Like how did that happen? Um. We had a a, a record um in Cleveland mm -hmm. that, that we put together, and we used that as our um way to get into the door with our record companies. We called everybody. We called yeah. Death Row. We called everybody. Walk to Tone Loke's house. We called everybody. You know what I mean? And he was and he answered us back. And then we ran into a little problems, you know, who we was staying with was kind of hating on us and locked the phone in the room and, you know, how I was going to say that. Yeah. Crazy Bone was here a while back, right? And he yeah. said the phone was locked in the room, so when Easy called y'all, you couldn't even get to the phone, right? Yeah, we was, me and Cray was going, we was losing it in there. We was losing it in there. But it was our uh, our place to stay. So, yeah, so after that, you know, the devil intervened or whatever, make you a little tougher or whatnot. We um, took one-way bus tickets back down to um, Cleveland, met him at Levert's, rest in heaven. Um, to Levert and them, and the rest is history. Man, Damn. it really is. It re yeah, and you know, <laughs> and, and it's just easy was that stamp, you know, and then, like you said, the rest was history. When you guys first came out, and, and I'm listening to, like, Crossroads and First of the Month, I mean, just the flow and the cadence was so different. We never really had anything like that before. Yeah. So it was that's why it was so catchy, and I think that's why people gravitated because it was just a, a different type of cadence. Yeah, you feel me? It really was. And you know, you all brought something special to the project, Busy, but it was always something about you that made you stand out. I think you, it, I what think is it that? probably was my voice. I think because my voice is a little higher note um, than everybody else's. I think that that's what I had that tenor, you know, that mm -hmm. soprano tenor voice that kind of completed everybody else's um you know the, their their vocal range and i think that's what stood out plus the youngest member as well you know what i mean i'm the whitest thing in the room you know what i mean <laughs> always been the whitest thing in the neighborhood always <laughs> yellow boy and white boy them are my nicknames in every neighborhood every wow. neighborhood that i lived in but yeah i think that's what kind of set me to the side or whatnot yeah, yeah. I, my question i have for you and i'm curious to find out is um you know, it's different when you're with a group and you're on stage and you all got your equal parts and you kind of know what you're playing. But when you're by yourself, you have nobody there on. It's just you. No one you know to what lean mean? on. Yeah. Like, how was that transformation? It, you know, I've been doing it for a while. You know, um, it's something that I do with, with my boys to where I step to the side to build our brand bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, so that's what keeps us relevant, you know, throughout the test of time, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, my boys, they out there pounding out that road and, you know, everything's still selling and we still get our points and our uh, residuals and stuff like that. So, yeah. but being by myself, you know, it's just a workout. It's what I get on the treadmill for. I get on the treadmill, sing a song. I took all my notes from Whitney Houston, 
the way she used to train. She used wow. to get on the treadmill and then sing right after it. She said that's how her trainer would teach her how to get ready. So I just did the same thing and it worked. Damn, I didn't know that. Then yeah, the, yeah man, get you your wind put right. Us up on game with that right there. Oh yeah, there. get your wind right. Yeah, definitely. Man, and then we think about it now as a group. Obviously, there's always ups and downs. Like, how do y'all weather that storm, man? I mean, you got a bunch of dudes on the road together. There's gonna be issues every now and then, right, busy? Yeah, because yeah, it's different feet personalities and all that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we we boys, you know, we came up together. You know, we had a dream and. Our parents knew each other and, you know, we, we've been on our own for a long time and only could lean on each other, you know, whether it's earthquakes or whatever. We grabbing each other when the earthquake yeah. hit and like, well, I think it's the end of the world, yo. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just that camaraderie and that bond, you know, and that's how we can get enough space away from each other because, you know, we be on the road nine, ten years together. So when we do get a little space and get a little air, it, it builds us stronger because we're happier to see each other when we link up and that Voltron gets back to work. And so yeah. we we manage to balance it out because we, we care about each other. We, mm -hmm. we you know, we, we, we care about each other's well-being, you know what I mean, in, gen in, in general. So Right. That's yeah. dope, man. That is so dope. And, of course, man, you're doing your thing, and now I'm hearing you might be cooking up in the kitchen, Busy. What's yeah. going on with that? Please yeah. tell me. What kind of food are you cooking, cooking Busy? Kitchen? What's your specialty? I got bars. I got bars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got bars. I definitely got bars. My um, my grandparents used to cook. I like to cook. I was a single father for a long time, you know, um, raising five kids by myself. So Man. I had to really get to it. You know, and it's just spices. That's all. Just spices. The spices. What's your that specialty? You your go-to yeah. dish that people are like, man, you gotta have if busy. We could, I mean, come to your house. What you gonna serve up? Um, if it's somebody older, like past seventy, I make them my eggplant dish. Okay. That I make with ground bison and or ground turkey. It depends on you know what you like, but that that's like my main go-to for like a real older person because mm -hmm. it has a lot of ethnic a lot of cumin in it and a lot of chili powder and just different spices people don't normally uh use so that's my go-to dish i ain't gonna lie that's my go but i'm, I'm good at mac and everything everything, everything he everything. said everything he yeah everything. everything mac and cheese though <laughs> like i you like i'm a mac and cheese mm, it has to be that baked that little crisp gotta you know do it mean? gotta do it it's the Definitely. easiest thing in the world to cook too quick too <laughs> so he cooking in the kitchen he cooking in the lab Always. but you know things that people did not know did not know you were a single dad for a long time I so had I, no idea. A dad. i gotta salute you on that bro yes. yeah yeah <laughs> they left me for like four years like you got it i'm like okay wow. but see that has to be difficult because you've got five kids you're you're you know raising you've got this group you guys are touring like handling that yeah i had man. to step away i had to step away from music for a while and you know, it kind of made people think that I just wasn't showing up to shows. And it's before social media, so I couldn't explain myself. Right. That's why I love social media so much, because I'm every day on them, explaining. This yeah. is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it kind of hindered me. But I, when I go into the to the offices and they talk to me, I'm like, this is what happened. That's why, because I'm putting my son on now. So I walked in like 300, for instance, and they were like, I never knew that, like, Really? That's why you wasn't? I'm like, yeah, that's what was up. And you're was... right, Busy. That was before social media. So mm -hmm. people would have no idea that yeah. you're like, I only stepped away so I can raise my babies. Yeah, man, they yeah. was lying on me and everything. Talking about I was on drugs and everything. I'm like, man, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, how, so... how do you just brush that off? Because everybody can't. You know what I mean? How you I mean, be like when you got your babies with you and you and then you start thinking like I put in this work with them right now. I know that my career is going to take me away from my family. So it's. I'm going to put in this work and just them, you know, just knowing that they know, like yeah. they know, they know what's up. Like, so. And that's, that's what matters, man. Oh, long yeah, as yeah. home know what's going on, the hell with everyone else. Yeah. It's my ass for real though. Right, right. Exactly. Life's going to turn off eventually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go, go, go to that house. And now you know you're putting man? your son on. And mm -hmm. okay, so what's what's his his name? So we can go ahead and make sure we look out for him. <laughs> he little busy, little, little busy. busy, of course. Getting but busy. do you go hard at him? Because you're like you're my son, so I'm gonna That's go a little boy. harder it's on the you. Bar high. That's my boy. That's my boy. He's the leader of his of his clan. So I just gave him enough space, and you know, gave him his little inheritance money, and he wanted to um use it to build his career, and he went viral with uh, busies in the house. He did like. Two million views on it. Yeah, he oh, rocking. Shit. He was rocking. Okay. Got him a little deal. Built him a little studio. He got him a nice little, you know, something going on out here in L.A. Just like pop. And I got his younger brother on the tour with me right now. So it's working out good. My kid's looking good. I feel good about it. You know Do you I mean? get nervous, though, about the pitfalls of this industry? Like, I'm sure as a father, you have a conversation with them and be like, look, son, right. let me give it to you really, you know, right. all the way 100. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I told him, you know, I'm the only dude that don't want nothing from you. I said all my advice. 
advice is free. You ain't got to worry about attorneys. Just get in any trouble. Just let me know what's up. And if I can't figure it out, I got somebody that can, you know. So I just, you know, I just keep trying to instill in his mind. And I love you, man. I love you. I love you. It's so I important. love you. It's a little so busy. Important. Stay away from the groupies, a little busy. You're good. <laughs> Don't get caught up. Don't do it. Right. And, and, and you think about rap music today. Obviously, some of the members of the group have spoke on it before. Uh, let's, like, Migos, again, people, right. no matter where I go, like, I'm the generation of Bone Thugs and Harmony. So I stand by that. So when I hear those things of what Migos said, I'm offended by it. How right. did you feel? You know, I was taking the high road at first. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and then when it got real, real crazy, like, it was like they started jumping on lay. Like, it was more than just one. You know, one do something, sleep with your wife. And then um, uh, another one, you ain't got no money and, and all that. And then that's when I was just like, all right, I got money. What's yeah. up? You know what I'm saying? And that's really how it happened. And I've just been rocking ever since on that level, you know, just kind of like you kick my brother's ball over the fence, I'm gonna go get his ball real quick. Mm. And that's what I've been doing and, you know, so it's what's, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> when he said, <laughs> When he said they should be kissing our feet, I said, oh, my God, I can't just. Hell, oh, God, <laughs> you went by yourself. I was like, what? I said, Lord, have mercy. But, <laughs> you know, I can I can dig it. You know, swag is good. Uh, the new generation is good. Mm -hmm. If, you know, it's keeping music alive. So I take all of those things into consideration. And, okay. you know, you still want to push the youth and still yes. push them towards the future and, you know, push them up there. Keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. No matter what, you know, no matter what the term was. It's like with me and my boys. We go through it. We go in the back room and get it on. And, yeah. you know, we go get some drinks later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hit you good right there, didn't I, player? You know what I mean? <laughs> I also think sometimes, too, you can't take it so seriously, like when he says you should be kissing our feet. Because right. I think, too, a lot of the new generation, they do it for the clout. For shock you know what I mean? So they're saying, like yeah, yeah, they're doing it for shock value almost, yeah. just to go ahead and get people talking and shake up the industry. Mm. Yeah, I believe yeah. that as well. You know, and you don't want to knock nobody hustle at the end of the day when they got a new single. I always know when a new single finna come out because. It, somebody's going purse shopping. So I know that as soon as they go purse shopping, I'm like, yeah, it's finna be a new single come out. It's finna be dope. Good on. It's finna be banging. He's got a new purse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I get it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. shock value and coming up and, you know, changing changing things, changing the 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 uh, the face of, of music and marketing and promotion. So I get it. You know what I mean? That's it's, dope, man. Yeah. You know, I got to... Amazing story. Back about 2000, 2001, I just started Power 106. We were doing this event at Florentine Gardens. Now, the owner was a little skeptical about having hip-hop artists there, right? Right. Bone Thugs and Harmony come on Thursday night. The Edge, E-Man hooked it up. DJ Vice is there. Goodfellas, we in there. The line is a mile long from the building. He shuts it down. I'm standing in the middle of the street, crazy, busy. We all come. We can't get in the building. He won't have the show, right? Oh. So that alone let me know where they were and what their status was all about. Busy, what moment did it happen for you where you were like, shit, okay, we're on a different level now? Was it a certain city, a certain country you were in? When did you know? It was when Easy e opened up his fan base because, you know, Easy e had a solid fan base. Um, Arizona, definitely L.A. Um, when he opened it up and, and we, like, seen people screaming for us before our record even came out, it was yeah. just like, that's when I knew. Like Arizona, like here, mm -hmm. when we were here, and then Arizona, and, and New Mexico, New Mexico, Arizona, this, that whole vibe, it was, that's when I'm like, oh, it's on. Yeah, like, so you knew. Whoa. Like, yeah, this is, this is real. This is real, real, real. Because before he died, we got enough time to kick it with him, and it was really, really, that's when I knew. Well, what's what the mean? one thing you can tell our listeners right now that are listening, um, you can share about EZ that maybe not too many people know about? Because you knew him personally. You got those special intimate moments with him. He helped me take care of my he he helped me take care of my kids. Like, cause all of, we were all out here in LA and we was just doing it big, smoking big, big weed, drinking, partying. And I pulled him to the side. I'm like, I gotta go. And he was like, What's wrong? I was like, I got kids. He's like, man, you got kids? I'm like, <laughs> I, said, I said, yeah, I got three of them. Three kids? Man, you got three kids? And then he gave me some money. And he was just like, look, go do this. Go take care of your kids. Go put them together and, and get back here as soon as you can. So oh, people don't awesome. know that. Yeah, this was before yeah. he died, too. You know what I mean? Passed away, pardon me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he, he I, I was able to, like, talk to him. And him and me, you know what I mean? We used to talk. I used to ask him all the time about all the girls he was sleeping with. I'm like, do you use condoms? 
Mm-hmm. It's like, man, I don't need no condoms. And, you know, so I'm, I've had close encounters with E, you know, that I just keep close to me, like inside of me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I ain't going to never forget that guy. You know what I mean? It's my guy. And to add to that story, when Crazy Bone was here, he was saying, I did not know EZ was the one take, doing all the pictures. When y'all were jumping off the roof of the album cover, like, oh he gosh. was hands on like, oh, wow. from the jump. So, so much stuff that he was doing, video games and, and um, movies and he was doing the he was doing the NWA movie before they well he had a, he did holler at Ice Cube mm-hmm. a long long time and he stayed like like I knew Lady of Rage uh, mm-hmm. so many Death Row artists it was always closer than what other what people would actually think like Jewel she sang for the love of money yeah you know what I mean so it was always real real close but yeah definitely. Got me reminiscing real quick. I know. Let me get I know. some water. Out of what was that one? What was that one song? Because I always wonder what happened to her. All I know is it was like, and Tasha. Oh, uh, she doing that's her thing. What happened to Tasha? She got, uh, <laughs> I think she got blessed or something. Like, um, she got blessed or, or not, not an ordained minister. I think she in the oh, church. Wow. She in the church. She went um, spiritual. She was in the church now. So, okay. you know, I love to see. I've seen her a couple of times uh, through transitions, but. You know, we a traveling band. Yeah, you, you are. You know what I mean? Bone been been on the road for nine, ten years, so Easy. she's still out there. She's still alive. Yeah, okay, shout out good. to Tasha. Shout out oh, to Shit Tasha. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, Bless, honey. <laughs> Absolutely. Can we talk about your new vlog? Yeah, of course, of course. Jam TV. Mm-hmm. T- talk about it, because you got some new episodes um, on your vlog. Now, uh, what is the whole idea of your blog? What do you focus on? I mean, well, you know, Bay had a baby, and, you know, she and the architect, and she was doing like so good like across the red sea and building and things of that nature so you know i i said i think you should like raise our son like you need to take some time off you need to raise our son i'm gonna be grinding or whatever so saying all of that she was like i gotta do something i'm like okay cool you know what do you got in mind and then she brought up the vlog and then it started you know she started showing me this one and that one and the ace family and this one and that oh, one. Oh, they're big the ace family right, she was just showing me all of yeah. this stuff and she was just like we just got to be normal we, you know we ain't got to really do anything you like to cook you know you should put your music out through through this we'll be getting paid she showed me the monetizing thing she real on her stuff you That's know what dope. I mean? yeah yeah definitely she no skirt about it she straight jeans on them okay um but and that's how I materialized, and I'm, you know, I'm able to showcase my cooking and my second lease on life, my son, my parenthood thing that I'm doing, and things of that nature. And it just brightened up my life, you know what I mean? She does the editing and everything. She the brains behind the operation, and I just got to show up, you know? Yeah, and just yeah. basically, it's just really about your life, and which yeah. is, I think, is a like people are gonna try to go watch it anyways because people yeah. always want a sneak peek. They I want to know what you're like at home, you yep, know what I'm saying? Exactly. With just the TV on and you're chilling, like oh yeah. yeah that I like that. Yeah, we talk and we close, and it's like a re- it's like a couples thing with people. If you're in a relationship, every time I'm on the road and I see people with their old ladies or women with their men, I tell them you tune into that. It's just date night and everything, you know, just being close, talking, you know, in love, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm yeah. definitely gonna be watching that. No, <laughs> when I'm at home, me and my queen and my kid, we love to watch Stranger Things. Yeah, okay? you do. Cannot wait for Power to come back. Like, what's something you and your family love to watch at home? Um. All kind of stuff. My girl is a movie buff, mm-hmm. so she likes scary movies a lot. You know what I mean? I'm a Netflix dude, so I'm a Netflix and chill. And then yeah. I'm a night owl because I'm a night owl because of my hours. So you know, when the baby go to sleep, she in there. You know, I creep in every now and then, give her some loving and stuff, and then As come out should, watch right. Netflix and stuff. So my hours, I'm I'm, I'm looking over the house. You know, smoking weed, <laughs> looking at, <laughs> or looking at the house, <laughs> making sure no one is breaking in. <laughs> For real, <laughs> she on no, watch. Why? Yeah, he's like for oh, no God. reason at all. Watch. Nicest neighborhood in the world. I'm just on Man. watch. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna do. That's how you know when you come from the hood, cause you still like <laughs> right. hold up. Y'all I still gotta go. make sure my windows are locked. Right. Yes. <laughs> my <other window. laughs> they be like. It's gated. There's already security. I don't care. I'm right. on, I, I want to make sure we good, man. Exactly. Absolutely. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Busy Boy hanging up the K-Day Morning Show. CC and Romeo, all right? Cooking in the kitchen. Once again, the new song is called What? The new song that I just put out is called Stalking Me. It's it's about a girl that, you know, um, or a few girls, but based on, you know, a few issues that I've had that I just needed to settle the score and get that up under me and I figure while I'm, you know, attacking these little dudes for coming at my, my boy Lele, I figure we 
cover everything. That's why I call it the new project Carbon Monoxide because mm. we want all that smoke. I can't, yeah. I can't believe I have smoke. To, 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 I can't believe there is smoke because I've, I've never really had any smoke. Like, you know, I battled Jay-Z and I did all these different things and I never got no smoke back. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I got some smoke. I'm like, oh yes, this is this is gonna be nice. I'm like, I love cooking. I like to cook. He's like, I welcome this. You know, yeah, sa- bring all the smoke. Keep the same Satch energy. One? Yes, yeah, really? I'm, in. I'm in. But yeah, that's what the project's about. And then it's much more. It's um, artistry. It's me. You know, production and what I manifested myself to be as an artist. So the whole record is is amazing. My production, my production team, my company, my boy Blaze. He did such a great job. I got my son, YBL, Sinatra, um, Bone Bone, that's on there too. So, And then my niece, Ajene, so she's for the youngsters. She does her little singing thing, New Wave. Got the little tune on it. She could sing flat out, That's sing, dope. but you know, all the, you know, she's part of the new generation, so yeah. she moving, she moving. So Romeo could sing, huh? Romeo could sing. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. we need to get in the lab one day. I would love to do that. I would be blessed to do hey, a hook man, for you, be man. Be a blessing, man. Boom, boom, be boom, a blessing. Boom, I'll fly to Ace Town for that too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for real, for real. And this dude right here makes hella tracks, Mars. That's what's up. Your, your next production is right here in studio. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I, I'm doing I'll three be songs there, but a day. I could just be the hype woman. <laughs> hey, <laughs> crazy. So you're knocking off three a day? Yeah, I, I I try to get in like three songs a day. I learned that from Tupac though, and I never I never oh. stopped. You know what I mean? Um, he, he taught me get in there and go do it. Just yeah. go in there and go do it. So I like to rehearse at home because I go to a, a expensive studio. So I want to make sure that I rehearse my stuff. So when I get in there, I ain't in there playing around and, and wasting money and stuff. You know, I miss mm-hmm. $120 an hour. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, I knock out about three of them and, you know, just dub, trip, quintup, make sure everything is good on the course and take it home, take it to the lab and see if there's anything I need to do with it and Cause I'm a musician at heart. I'm gonna do it no matter what, yeah. it, whether it's money involved or not. You know, I'm, it's just what I do. I know? gotta throw this at you. Bone Thugs and Harmony, signed by Eazy. Did a song with Tupac. Did a song with Notorious B.I.G. I don't think anyone else has ever done that or accomplished that. Yeah, yeah. Have you had a chance to just look back on what you've accomplished and what 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 you guys have done for hip hop? Yeah, yeah. The East Coast West Coast thing was so tense mm-hmm. that it was it was a it was a political move that organically happened. I think that's the best way that I can say it, you know, because, you know, I guess Big thought we loved Pac so much that we was tripping on doing music with him, you know, and he made it materialize. You know, Lobel helped facilitate it, and I've been friends with with Diddy for a long, long time. Now, that's my guy, you know what I mean? Every time I see him, I I always tell him I'm the 37th candle (laughs) because, like, I walked into his studio one time, and he had... He had a bunch of candles around, so I got to counting them up. I used to be a conspiracy theorist. So sorry. I said, yo, dude, you know you got 36 candles? He said, what? I said, either put one of them out or add one to it. So that's, he was like, every time I see him, he's like, I still remember what you told me. I still remember what you told me. And that's why I call myself the 37th candle when I talk to him. So wow. that's my guy, though. Diddy's that's my guy. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, really quick, um, because we're keeping up to date on what's been going on with the ASAP Rocky situation. Yeah, that's my guy. Oh, he man. um yeah, they named their crew ASAP Yams, ASAP Rock, rest in peace to Yams. Um so he um yeah, I know he's in a lot of trouble and and um it seems like they're making an example out of him and I seen that um they like the dude kept swinging on him and kept swinging on him. And I don't think that uh video evidence matters too much to the country that they're holding him in. Mm-hmm. Right. You gotta understand America's a little bit different and is a little more hip. They're a little more conservative. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Out there, it's another country. So when you in somebody else's territory, you know, there's a certain way you have to conduct yourself. You seen what Future did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He walked cold away and his dude had to get, but that's what security is there for. If you want, you're going to be able to beat some people up, but you, you might get beat up too. Right. You right. know what I mean? That's why you got to cover yourself. And I think the next time what ASAP got to understand is, you know, young, young brother, you, you're too valuable to be breaking up any fights. Too, too valuable. You have to be very, very careful. No, it ain't your fault, but you still black. Mm-hmm. No matter what, yep. You know what I mean, and never forget that. 
You know what I mean? And you still an American. And in other countries, sometimes that's worse than being black. Facts. So that's what okay. I think about that situation. You know, my young brother, I hope he be all right. I know he's strong. Ain't nobody, I know ain't nobody hurting him or nothing like that. And then I heard that Trump said something. I heard Kim Kardashian got on it and mm-hmm. Kanye got on it. You know, so they 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 getting in front of it. Yeah, too. yeah, they yeah. getting they getting in front of it. And what what's uh, uh Trump's wife's name? Melania. Yes, they getting in front of it. So that's all you can really really expect when Trump says I catch his bail, and the bail ain't they ain't caught the bail yet. Then something okay. That's that's the president of the United States of America. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we the bullies. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. I guess it's how much dedication Trump puts towards it. You know, how much Melania is her name? Yeah. How much she pushes her husband to go get ASAP on up out of there. Yeah, we, we need ASAP Rocky back. Now, one thing I do want to touch base is you guys are so big on the West Coast, and we've had this conversation uh, plenty of times, too, and I've had it with different uh, members of Bone Thugs. Latinos love the fuck out of you guys. Is it? It's so crazy. You can go to Bone Thugs concert. It's like majority Latinos and they ride for Bone they Thugs. They ride. They oh, yeah. ride for y'all. Definitely. All my guys out there. Yeah. I'm an honorary member of about five gangs. So <laughs> <laughs> trust me, I already know. <laughs> You're like whatever you want, Holmes. <laughs> I'm like, I know that's right. But um, <laughs> yeah, my um, my fiance, she happens to be of, of that culture. And my son, my newborn son. So yeah, it's always been that way. And I, I, I go back to what Easy E brought us into because they love Easy E too. Number low riders, um, the brown side guys and you know, rest in heaven, Toker, and um, I, I remember these guys being crazy, in, yeah, yeah. Where they were in our lives, you know, for a long, long time with Easy, because, you know, Easy had <laughs> real backup. Oh, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's still, like, people still ride yeah, for Easy, yeah, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cut your you head can't... off, leave it on the porch type backup. But, so, yeah, he, um, yeah, this, yeah, that whole community is always love Bone, and we love him back, and we appreciate him, and we're always out there in their in their venues and things of that nature. That's they keep us going. So for sure, for sure. Oh, it's a dope. trip. Every time you talk about easy, your whole energy just goes. You know, I mean, you can tell you miss that dude. How yeah, much I love, he I love, meant to you. I loved him. I loved him a lot. Never yeah. would do anything, whether he in his grave or not, to to hurt him or betray him or any of that. I loved easy. You know, the Still one thing him. that I that I loved um, from watching Straight Outta Compton was that I've grew up. You know what I mean. I grew up here, so I grew up with NWA, Pac, Dre, Ice Cube, the Ohio player, Shaka Khan. Like, that was our music. Mm-hmm. But one thing I didn't know, I never knew how funny Eazy was until I saw that film. And I was like, he was funny? Like, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. But he was actually a funny guy that just had this really cool personality. That's how I got all those girls. He had one, he had a great sense of humor. He had a great personality, and he could take one on the chin and... He could give one too, so he was he was all that. He was all that, you know. Um, what's so crazy about it is every girl that he's ever messed with, none of them have tested positive. So it's still mysterious mm. of what happened. I like my boy from uh, Little Rasa, uh, Kid Frost. Kid Frost. I like what he said about the acupuncturist. So I mentioned that on my new record. I put out a um, a, a snippet of something on the record called "What Easy Said" and. On my YouTube channel, and um, I said the same thing. You know what I mean? So. And you know who he said that to? Who? Me. Nice. I did a documentary mm-hmm. called Latinos in Hip Hop, and I interviewed Kid Frost. Okay. And he told me that Eazy E uh, cut AIDS from acupuncture. We did, you know, but that's what he had shared to us. That that's how needles, he yeah. he was like, this is how he caught it. Mm-hmm. And he and he goes on and saying it on film, like this is how it caught, like this is how he caught he caught uh, AIDS. And I was like, what? So I mean, this is what Kid Frost was telling us. But yeah, he told us in the documentary. Yeah, it makes sense. It had to come from some somewhere because nobody has it. None of his kids. Uh, Tamika's clean. Um, big shout out to Tamika from Ruthless Records. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, everybody seems to be just fine. Speaking I was just of, with his son. Speaking and, of um, Easy's kids, you know his daughter Remarkable is on growing up hip hop right mm-hmm. now. So Remarkable is really trying to take off in her, in her career, and that's Easy's daughter. And that got me thinking: Would you would you do would you allow your child to come on in something like growing hip hop? Because Jermaine Dupri's daughter's on it. I was a, Hurricane's daughter's on it. I was about to. Um, I actually was in the talks with doing some stuff for the Oprah Winfrey show, but. 
I ain't trying to throw nobody under the bus. It was just it was just trying to bring too much too much drama to it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like they were like searching a little too much during the interviews. And then my schedule wasn't permitting it, but it just didn't seem like it was a good look for me to cancel anything if I'm making 15, 20 stacks during those four or five days you want to film. You know, I'm I'm a businessman. You right. know what I'm saying? So. And I've seen sometimes, that, like the reality shows, when they conduct the interviews or they send in, sometimes the questions are more tabloid questions. You know what I mean? Something that the tabloid would ask. So well, I same thing like saying, what Irv, yeah. Irv and them just went through some stuff out there. Irv and, 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 and Ja Rule, they yep. just, they got set up. You know what I mean? Just to bring the drama. Some girl got to talking crazy on stage or whatnot. And they was like, yo, they set you up. Yo, 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 yo. So, but yeah, I don't, I wouldn't mind if it was the ideal situation, which yeah. is why I opened up my YouTube channel channel because i edit all that that's right i'm go. making mine look as good as i possibly can because image ain't everything but it is in social media yeah mm-hmm. so we putting on the, the skin smoother um <laughs> and everything else <laughs> yeah that's called the paris yeah. filter just so you guys yeah, know yeah. No, auto tune and skin smoother <laughs> okay i love it i love it busy putting us up on game yes he is man, man. thank you so much for stopping by one question before you dip though is i really want you to speak directly to our listeners and speak to them on the importance of k-day and what this station means to the culture of hip-hop i mean you know the importance of k-day is it's a west coast staple you know it's 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 a statue of the west coast that can't die and it's been around since before me you know so I can't stress enough the importance and with radio going in the direction that it's going in right now and everything is becoming visual and viral and everything of that nature. My only hope is that K-Day is able to surpass technology and continue to bring us great music, great interviews, great people and, you know, first and foremost, great energy. So, yes, it's, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Thank you Man. so much. I Busy appreciate bone. that. Yes. Loving that. In the Indeed. studios, K-Day, baby. Come on. <laughs>